Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about my November 2020 weather forecast. And before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is my temperature outlook for November 2020. And you can see the gray area stretching from a corridor from South Dakota into the Northeast. Temperatures are expected to remain generally average through the month of November. And in the North, in the light aqua color you see there going from North Dakota into the Northern Great Lakes is slightly below average temperatures where you could see a couple degrees of below average, like one to three degrees below average in terms of temperature. And that darker color there where that cyan is, going from northern Minnesota into the upper peninsula of Michigan is moderately below average temperatures where you could see a couple degrees below average, potentially more than three degrees below average. Going to the orange, going from Montana to the south where Texas and Louisiana into portions of the east coast like New Jersey and Delaware is slightly above average temperatures where you could see one to three degrees above average in terms of temperatures. And the two orange areas in the southeast and the west coast and southwest are moderately above average temperatures where you could see a couple degrees above average, potentially greater than three degrees above average in terms of temperature for the month of November. Let's move on to precipitation. This is my precipitation forecast for November 2020, and you can see the large gray region spreading from much of California in the northwest into the Great Lakes into the east coast. That whole gray area, precipitation is expected to remain generally average for the month of November. And there are two regions of above average. One going from the extreme northern part of the United States, going from northern Idaho into northwestern Minnesota. That is slightly above average precipitation, where you could see a couple half inches above average in terms of precipitation. And in the northeast over here, in northern New York, going into Maine, you have slightly above average precipitation. Once again, a couple half inches above average in terms of precipitation. Going to the south from southern California into Florida and as north, as far north as southern Iowa and central Illinois, that first shade of brown is slightly below average precipitation where you could see a couple half inches below average in terms of precipitation. And the darkest brown you see there covering all of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, and goes into southern Illinois is moderately below average precipitation where you could see a couple to a few inches below average in terms of precipitation and drought conditions may happen. Let's move on to my overall forecast for November 2020. This is my generalized forecast for November 2020. We'll start at the west and move east. In the northwest, in Washington and Oregon, November 2020 is expected to be pretty stormy over there at times. And in portions of northern California, northern Nevada, going into a small portion of Utah, it will be a warmer November there. And in the extreme southwest, southern California, southern Nevada, all of Arizona, it will be very hot and dry for the month of November. In that gray region you see there, going from Colorado into Idaho, mountain snow is expected for the month of November. And going to the north in that light aqua color that covers Montana, the Dakotas, into northwest Iowa and southwest Minnesota, it will likely be very snowy for the month of November, particularly mid to late November. It may kick off with some frequent snowstorms. The yellow in the generalized Midwest area from Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, it will be a flip-flop pattern where you may see Arctic blast and you may see warm-ups, you may see snowstorms, you may see stronger thunderstorms. It's really a flip-flop pattern there, that's the best I can describe it. Going farther south into Texas area, it will be very dry. That's the best way to explain it down there, dry potential drought conditions for November. Going back to the north for the Great Lakes, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, northeastern Illinois, Arctic blasts are possible for the month of November where temperatures, particularly at night, may drop below into the teens, potentially. 
going into the southeast over here in North Carolina, into far southern Illinois and Indiana, it will be a mild November. And going into the south, where Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, southern Georgia, much of Louisiana, there will be lots of sun in November. It will be mild with lots of sun. And in the mid-Atlantic, it will be stormy at times. And in the northeast, you will have frequent snow chances for the month of November. Question of the day for this video is how many tropical systems do you think will be named in the month of November? We already have one likely coming up that will form and be named in November. Next name is Ada. How many after that point do you think will happen? Comment below your answers. To ask your trusted weather forecast for my November 2020 forecast, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.